All right, wanted to get one last reset in. I have everything set up, everything all set up. Womp. Okay, because what I really want to know, what I really want to know is, gotta buy a few things first, I guess. Okay. There we are. Wait, where is it? Hold on. Obviously, I just need to buy all of these. There you are, you sod. Thought you could hide from me, did you? Well, you couldn't. Hard. I see. A thousand two hundred and fifty. I see. You didn't unlock anything new, did you? No, of course not. Why would you do that? That would just be silly. No, that would just be silly. Well, yeah. you know the drill. You know what I do from here. First, I buy one of everything. Then I decide I can straight up ignore time crystals. Because I can. I don't need no more time crystals. I never need another time crystal. I hope. <laughs> Screw you, unicorns. I do not need you anymore. You and your worthless kind. Oh, I guess I'm using more power than I'm producing. There. Anyway... Ugh. I don't know. I was wondering if Yassad would have been a dead end, like this is as much game as there is right now, or if it would open up something new, because, frankly, I want to know what's up with the far reaches. I want to know what's up with the furthest ring. But, uh, I, I, don't, I don't, don't think Hod is going to do it. But you know what? I had myself all rigged up. I could do a fairly fast turnover on another reset. But 1,250. <sighs> That's just a bit out of my reach. So. You know, if it had been something that was attainable, you know, a thousand or less, I could have immediately just gone to the next reset, like, within, like, well, like I don't know, it might take me half an hour, an hour or something. But alas, it is not to be. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be another video of, of kittens or not. Because... I mean, if Hod doesn't unlock something new, um, I mean, I could do the challenges, but, I mean, none of them really sound all that exciting to me. The, the rewards sound very slight to me. I don't know. Every level of transcendence will increase Apocrypha effectiveness by 10%. It actually is kind of good, but... Without a faith bonus? Ooh, that would take a long time. Um, I don't know. I might actually have to consult their wiki to find out if there's what all there is. I don't know. I won't do it until I get hard, though. Anyway, until next time and every time, this is Hadrick signing off.
Alright, so I ended up running it a little longer than I intended this time. Uh, you can kind of see from some of the numbers and uh, the fact that my time crystals have gone up this time, if not my relics. I didn't, didn't, didn't bother with the relic stations, but uh, yep. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and hit off a reset. Now, I was worried that I might be hitting the end of, you know, with only one choice left, that this might be the end of it, but I've been told that there might be... I've been told that there's a bit more to this game, which is good, because it needs to unfold some new aspect now. Unfortunately, 1250... Plus... Uh, well... Yeah, I'm going to be more than 100 short. There's not much I can do about that. Oh, 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 before we do that. Transcend. Tra transcend? Oh, I'm sorry, reset. There we go, transcend! Yes! That's it. Poo. Fine, then. Be that way! I don't care, anyway. Reset. Okay. Now, it has to take a moment to think about it because I got so many numbers now. I have a ridiculous amount of resources. Do, 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 do. Okay, you all know how this would go. Um, hold on. Ugh. I can't get that one until I get some of this stuff researched out, which is fine. Come on, give it to me. It should appear there. You are hard. Yeah, I need 116 more. And I don't want to wait 116,000 years. So I guess that means I'm going to have to reset again. You know, with time crystals, that's, that's asking a bit much. <sighs> and hopefully this will open new things. Now, uh, see, I don't want to do the challenges for one reason and one reason only. You won't gain reset bonus from chronospheres. I put my finger on it, but you can't see that I put my finger on that sentence, and I can't move the, move the mouse off, but you, you can see it there, right? Yeah, you can see it there. And they all say that. I don't want to restart without chronospheres. Although my faith bonus is so ridiculous, it's not as big a deal as it may once have been. Um, thanks to, thanks to these things. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, ah, uh, see, so yeah, I got to do one more reset, uh, and then I'll get hard. And we'll see what I get after that. And why am I at negative power? It's your fault. You're doing that. There, you're fixed. You have regained four days of production. I have? From what? Whatever. All systems are go. We are ready for another time adventure. Six hundred and fourteen paragon points. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Almost forgot. Oh, hey, look, I get more of these things. Now. No, transcend. Oh wait, no, reset. Transcend. Please. Eh, whatever. Okay, so time and go. All right. Now. What do we get? Oh, right. Yeah, I have to have to have a library before we can begin sciencing. I always forget that bit. And I have to buy a crap ton of crap. Oh, come on. Come on, game, you can keep up with me. There it is, hard. Okay, you. 
Let me check it real quick. Okay, my current Paragon... Well, actually, it's going to eat all my Paragons. Yeah, it's going to eat a lot of them. Oh, well. Ah, uh, hold on. We have to get this actually... Get a few things actually flowing here. Okay. Paragon bonus is currently 233 with all of these Paragons. It's just a 233% bonus. It's actually quite a bonus. The word just doesn't do it justice. Okay. Hard. Hmm. Well, we did spend a lot. And now well, we have Netzach, which is 1,750. That's going to take three resets to earn. Three of them. Uh, when we get more Paragons, maybe the bonus will look a little better. I don't know. I'm this close to just pulling up a wiki and finding out what's going on. What else there is to do. Maybe there's something I missed. Something cool in here somewhere. Maybe, actually, it's the challenges that unlock all the cool stuff. I mean, gain, TBD, could be anything. Although a lot of these are just like, um, you know, increase your Apocrypha offense effectiveness by 10%. Or cuts, production bonus cuts caused by negative energy are divided by 2. Which would matter if I ever let myself be in the negative energy. Yeah, I know, you can make fun of me for being in negative energy right now when I say that, but I assure you, it's not a thing I need to worry about. Uh, anyway. Alright then. Three... Can I get it in two... No, I'm going to want three, because I wouldn't want a Paragon bonus of zero, even if I could get it just barely. So it's going to be three resets. It's going to take, like, it's going to take a lot of time, and then, then we'll see if this does anything new. What if I just burn them? No, I won't do that. That's because I don't know it. If I just burn them, like, will I get, like, some kind of new... Are right, we going to cheat? Sort of. Okay. The game autosaves periodically. What I'm going to do is I'm going to force a save. I'm going to hit burn Paragon and see if anything new pops open. Then I'm going to reset the game before it saves again. Does that make sense? I'm going to going to I'm going to do a thing. All right. Ready? Go. Yes. Yes. Nothing new appeared. Ah, uh, nothing new here. No, nothing new there. Ah, uh, I don't know if something would appear on some weird planet, but I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So before the game auto saves and that becomes a permanent thing, haha! I got all my Paragon points back. So far as I know, burned Paragons don't unlock anything. Um, as far as I know. And that, well, that wasn't very scientific of me, but we'll pretend that was a test. Uh, I mean, I could ex... I don't remember how to export my save file anymore. Current game stats, we don't know. There's a way to do that, though. I could export my file and experiment further with burnt paragons, look deeper into it, maybe get these researches going. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go for a couple, for, for, for a few more resets, and then we'll see where things go from there. So I was working towards, where is it? I was working towards this, when on one of my resets, I discovered something. This just appeared. The AI is finally going to get off its lazy butt and do something. 
it will produce gigaflops, which I would presume are gigantic floppy disks. Okay, so I decided I would take a little time, build things up a bit uh, before hitting it, because I also discovered a few other things. I have, let me see, Blazar, which will give Shattered Time Crystal Research retrieval bonuses. And I've got something else, something else. Oh, yes, in the workshop, AI bases, which will use the AI to boost the effectiveness of my moon bases, as well as Chrono Surge. I wanted to save up Tempora Flux for it, but my internet has been out for a week, and I keep thinking I've had it fixed, and I'll do all this anyway. Don't worry about that. But uh, this here will let me just generate chrono or temporal flux passively, which is amazing and something I've wanted for a long time. But I can't generate it because if I log out of the game, um, I have no internet to get it back. <laughs> I just complained offline. Okay, so let us start with, let's start with this. Ah, oh, nothing new opened up, but that's okay. All right. Now, let's turn off some of these containment chambers, and I'm going to turn these back on. Now, let's see. Unobtainium. The most important ones are unobtainium and titanium. Okay. Wow. Time it requires 75% more power. This is going to eat a lot of energy. Oh, up the red iron fighter. Not a problem for us. Okay, where are these gigaflops? Producing. AI level 3, but I've got 9 of them. Gigaflops. This is a great idea, guys. We're going to make Skynet. Don't worry. It's it's completely harmless. It's absolutely harmless. It says so itself. You can't trust an AI. What can you trust, eh? Gigaflops. Uh, should be a continual resource, right? Right? Ah, well, we have higher maximums. That means new chronospheres, new accelerators, new everything. Huh, new barn. They're useful. Let me store 31 titanium. That's, that, that, that's important. It's important to the Empire. I'm sorry, to the Dominion. All right. Now, we're going to hike over to religion. And we're going to take these. Do, 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 do. I saved up a lot. Okay. Oh, that should be a total speed thing. And. Alright. And now. Shit, I can't, can't get the flux that I so desperately need. Okay. Build up some antimatter. Actually, I have enough. I can probably get away with turning my arrays back on. Probably. If I take a moment. All my all my accelerators are off too. When you're when you're building up those high numbers of antimatter, you end up having to run so many containment chambers. I mean, I suppose I could have could have built up more of the uh, whatchamacallits that give me so much power. You know what I'm talking about? Crack of Worlds, Crossed Harvest, it's magma. You know what I'm talking about, right? This thing. Yes, I could do that. Anyway, let me see. So, I do believe our next step 
is to finally cash in my alicorn savings. Let's poor Flux end up with points, I think. No, my heat, I mean. Odd. Oh, well, whatever, I don't care. Do, do, do. Now, we should be able to go back to the AI core, which is now up to level 5. It, it, it's leveling up itself. Hmm. Should we be worried about that? Nah, we just want our giga flops. Boop, 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 boop. Up there we go, out of antimatter again. Well, surprisingly inexpensive. Only 360 for its next levels. And look at what it does for our moon bases. Actually, it didn't make anything new available to us. Well, that's just because we need to make more moon bases. Obviously. Why is... Why is our AI on the moon? I mean, it's better than it's better than storing it in our homes, I guess. But still, a little odd to me. How does it? F it's figuring out more efficient ways to store things. How does it figure out more efficient ways to store things in here while you're at it? No. Okay. Hmm. Actually, it's somewhat, somewhat disappointing, somewhat unimpressive, the moon base boost. Hmm. AI level 6 currently. Not that we're at all worried. No, 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 this is absolutely harmless. Nothing to worry about. I just wish I knew what it was doing with all my gigaflops. Probably um, making shoes for orphans. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what it's doing right now. Okay. Oh, and more power. Any building that produces power is uh, worth its weight in gold. Actually, that's not true. If I could, I would build things that produce electricity out of gold. So... Alright, we will have to see what horrors I've unleashed in the long term. Because right now, I'm not seeing anything else available to me. That said, I'm going to continue pumping this AI core. Still at 6. It's producing them per second, which makes it sound like it's a resource I can collect as opposed to, you know, things like energy, which are, um, you know, just not measured that way. But it's not showing up. Let me fix up. What the heck is this? Hmm. Is there anything else I can think of to do? workshop yeah, you guys can get back to work I needed an obtainium at one point and I turned them off and got to turn them back on you know no nobody wants giga flops okay oh yeah we're about to get to the next to the uh, this again <clears throat> and see what if anything that might lead to now hmm I'm not seeing it. Still nothing out of you. You're still impossible. Okay. Well, then we're going to simply come back later and see. Hmm. I have a lot of void. Hmm. can't come up with anything. 
Maybe if a bunch of years pass. Okay, we've had years. Currently at AI level 7. What does that mean? What's it doing? What's it thinking about? Um, Alright. The Gigaflops are doing. However, now that I have internet back, I was able to gather up the temporal flux, but there are new options that also appeared when I got my internet back. First of all, we have a new science, quantum cryptography. It uses 1,024 relics, which seems like an odd number to me. Uh, that's probably just because I don't know what quantum cryptology, cryptography might be. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. I don't see any new options, but it was a TBD, so it might not actually do anything yet. All right, chronospheres now generate temporal flux. Bam. Mm. Wanted that for a while. The Holy Union of Feline Mind and Machine. Oh, well, that doesn't look too hard to get. Any more of these? No? Okay, fine. Anything else going on here? Oh, come on, guys. I, get, I got, like, all these decorcorns and all this stuff, and there's nothing I can do with it, huh? Oh, well, whatever. I'll just... Move on. Okay, Umbra Mission, a supermassive black hole at the heart of the Helio system. Yeah, whoa! Charon is a small, incredibly dense, and distant dwarf planet on the far edge of the Helio system. It is so hostile and barren that it is sometimes referred to as the Gates of Death. Oh, yeah, count me in! Ooh, we're gonna go to the Gates of Death! Heatsink. If your heat sink will increase the power consumption of the containment chamber and antimatic matter storage capacity. Well, it's a net positive, and it only costs one, one relic. Goodness knows I have the thorium and kerosene. Oh, turn a few of these on my power, though. I am, I am, I'm having critical shortages of power, so I don't know, guys. There for now. I'll play with it later. And it's your fault that I'm having critical shortages of power. It better be worthwhile. You think it was the AI that made this appear, actually? It might have nothing to do with the internet coming back. It might not have been a patch. It might have just been that this reached AI level something and popped up a new option. Perhaps some of these space things are because of the AI, too. All right. Well, nothing new here. I'm going to be generating you every year. Ha 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 ha. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, uh, more importantly, over here. Boink, boink. Oh, uh, a little more. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There. So, you guys should be working faster than ever. Yay? <laughs> okay, maybe that's not such a big deal. Well, that, would, that would matter more while I'm building up? I don't know. I got so much stuff. I was actually thinking I was going to get to 1G Illudium and then reset. Because I keep, like keep at least 34%. No, wait, it was... I don't remember. Anyway, I keep a lot, a good percentage of my uh, resources. So, you know, a reset with these kind of resources, I can get right back up to this in a second. And like, and like a snap. Nothing new here? Anything new? Anything? Nothing new. Okay, just, just, just peeking around, poking at things, looking... Uh, are they really, are they really rare? I mean, come on, 3,000 years, 2 million, how, that's more than one a day. <laughs> oh, well. I think, you'd think the heat sink would have something to do with this. Huh. 
fuck no. I was fated to containment chambers. I want to do a whole bunch of containment. Oh my gosh, they're here. It's great. How can I not have the resources to build it? Hawking Radiation Harvester. Operates on the energy of the black hole evaporation. Every HR harvest generates a one watt of energy, which slowly increases over time. So right now it's two. Okay, it requires a good deal of antimatter, but I can do get I, I can do that. The relic cost is is inconsequential. Actually, I have a thing down here. I could. Nope, nope. This is definitely better. Well. Hmm. Well, it increases over time, so we'll see. An entanglement station generates a set of entangled particle, aka qubits, for your quantum computing system. This process requires an enormous amount of processing power but lets you perform a cryptographic attack on elder encryption algorithms. It consumes the gigaflops and energy. And does what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hack you guys. I'm gonna hack your asses. I don't know why though, because I can. <laughs> Isn't that the reason we do everything? Because we can. Okay, fine. Personally, the entangled particle thing always seemed to me like it would be incredibly useful for instantaneous communications. You know, we have two particles that get entangled so that if you move one, the other one moves. And as, f as far as we know, it's instantaneous and over any distance. I think. So, theoretically, if we did a Mars mission, we wouldn't have to wait so many light seconds to send signals back and forth. We could communicate instantaneously via those. Theoretically, we could go to the ends of the freaking universe and still chat and have internet working. Unless I completely fail to understand, which I probably do, because I... I am not a quantum physicist. That that might come as a great surprise. I mean, you know, yes, 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 me, the great, the great and mighty Hadrix, knows very little about quantum physics. Look, I don't build quantum death rays. I just build old-fashioned death rays, okay? That and old-fashioned pyromancy. Pyrokinesis. None of that quantum stuff. Quantum stuff you kids are into. All right. Well, we're going to make ourselves a Hawking Radiation Harvester at the very least. To do that, we are going to need a few more containment chambers. That's, that's way more than enough. And I'll go ahead and shut down my orbital arrays for now. I don't really need them at the moment. And we're just going to Burn some time crystals. I mean, <laughs> I got plenty of them. I don't even, I even care about the resources I'm wasting. I don't care. I'm like, ooh, let's check out the new thing. Furthest ring. Arr, maybe if I make enough time crystals. Think I can make 22.16 KY time crystals? Maybe if I'm really patient, I take it. Okay. Now... Is that 2.69, is that counting the slow increase over time? Or is it that I actually have to own one before it starts doing the increase thing? Because currently the tectonics look better, but there might be a way to speed time up that I'm not aware of, like speed it way up. I mean, I can speed it up a little right now, but... Hmm. All right, let's get ourselves an entanglement station. How much is that again? 5,250. Easy peasy. No, wait, there we go. Just 16. Oh. Uh, hmm, should we get some more furnaces going? I don't know. Those things are kind of spendy. Oh, 
if we use our yeah it's gonna take a while yeah it's gonna take a while I'll be back in a minute with it's just bothering me I don't have one okay I swear I'm not OCD I just have to have one of everything I've said this before I swear I'm not though but I have to have one of these All right, so. And poof. All right. Oh, crap, one more. I'm fine. Poof. Okay, we'll wait. So the harvester's definitely not getting any more power. So presumably, I'd have to run a game for like tens of thousands of years. I don't know, a long time before this became relevant. Which is not to say I won't build a crap ton more of them. Who knows? I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so this. Next hash level at hash collision hash rate. It doesn't say how many gigaflops I'm using anywhere. Does it? Does it? Does it? Doesn't. Doesn't. So I don't know how many I'm actually using right now. I don't know how many I've got. <sighs> Whatever. It's a thing that's happening at the gates of death. Oh dear. What is this going to do? We are going to have to wait till it gets to 100%. What is it going to do to you? Well, I won't find out until tomorrow, because it's time for me to go to sleep, unfortunately. Although we're building this up pretty quickly, actually. We're already at 5%? Hmm. Maybe I can stay up just a little longer. I want to know. I want to know. I must know. Also, I've had to turn, like, everything off because, well, as I've mentioned before, power is a real issue for my uh, empire. And none of this is helping me build more stuff that generates power. Man, maybe I should make more heat sinks. Maybe make this more efficient. Or maybe I should be focused on tectonics. I have the time crystals. I guess there's no reason not to. Hmm. There. Maybe. I don't know. Come on. Just do it already. Uh, all right. All right. How am I going to tell what it's done? How am I going to tell? What? Where is a thing going to appear or change? I might not even be able to find it, whatever happens. I might not even be able to find what is done, but I'm going to check this feed first. 98... Give me a good clean tell game. What was all of this for? Come on. Just do it! Ah! Hash, hash collision? What? Hash collision? collision feed the elders what does getting that to 180 even do I would take it turn I would take eternity uh, what does that do what 
What'd you do? Oh, I found another one of these. I'm out of power. Like, way out of power. Oh, right. Years have passed. I forgot. Nothing different about you. No, nothing here. Am I missing something? No, no, I can't find it. Mysteries pile upon mysteries. What does this mean? What does this mean? I finally have a use for a gigaflop. What is it? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh dear. I just don't know. I just don't know. Oh, well, when I wake up to morning, it'll have done this like a hundred thousand million billion times in the night. Hmm. Is the percentage rate growing slower than it was before? Next hash level at... What does this mean? <laughs> ah! I am this close to just digging full up into the wiki and just reading everything. No, no, no. I must get the rest of these first. Before I do that, all right, fine, whatever. Well, if I'm not going to reset right now, I can at least take make use of some of this void I've got saved up. Ah, I can be all like, bam! I can be all like, aha, more power. More power! Yay, two more watts. Hmm, yeah, that was, that was worth it there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on, I can't even get the reactor out of all of that. I spent like a bajillion void points. Oh, well. Oh, well, I was hoping for a little more, but I guess, I guess, I guess that you are useless to me, Void Rifts. What am I even saving up Void for anymore? I don't even know. Oh, uh, well. We'll explore these mysteries in the morning. Hmm. Well, this is new. When did this start happening? Hey, hey, knock it off. Access denied. Uh, mm. Well, I can only think of one way to get out of this. Time travel. Ah, uh, hmm. You know, I think... I went ahead and uh, checked the wiki. I think I mentioned this already. All of these are just uh, Paragon bonus 5%, which uh, doesn't really excite me all that much. Hmm. Let's see. Turn these all into time crystals. So I can take those with me. Hmm. My AIs have turned against me. Oh, what a shock. Whatever, I'll have a few of these. Why not? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Perfect. How can I be missing so many? Huh. Um, they must be related to the challenges. Alright, whatever. So... I'm going to have 
so many resources for this reset. Ah, as long as the AI doesn't come with me. Okay, let's see. Uh, boop. Alright, so I'm basically going to declare that I've beaten this game for now. I mean, I know there's... I could get more Paragon still, but... Oh, shit, I screwed that up. Oh, 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 oh. Please tell me the... Ah, crap, the autosave... Ah! In my terror to flee from the uh, AI, I forgot to fill my space stations for more Paragon points. Ugh. Well, okay. Anyway, unless they add more to the game, though, I don't think there's a. I mean, I could do the challenges, I guess. I don't know. For now, I'm going to declare this game. Uh, beaten for a little while. I've got all these other idle games we're running, Mind Defense, and I've been working on Trimps the whole time. It's just real slow compared to the others. But this was actually my favorite for a little while. This one, uh, I just unfortunately seem to have run out of content. So I'm going to put this this one aside for a while. Uh. Okay, Badoop, Badoop. All right, let me see. Now, control? Ah, control. May as well just do this to you. Womp! 400 of them in an instant. See, yeah. Praise the sun. Do it. You got one of everything. I don't know why I feel compelled to have one of everything, but I do. Okay, so. Oh, and space. Space. It's kind of amazing looking at all these. You know, I never found anything on this planet. I feel like there are more things running around in this game that I ain't got. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Ten. Ten, ten. Ten, ten, ten. Ten, ten. Ten, ten, ten. Or two. Ooh, we ran out of thorium, have we? Hmm. All of our resources are, like, ridiculous. Beyond their limits. All right. Well... Anyway, oh, uh oh, oh, what have I done? It would appear that I need more power. There, fixed. And of course, a wad of priests. Templars, yo! Apocrypha, I choose you next. Okay then. So, until next time and every time, this is Hadrix signing off. That AI didn't follow me, right? Oh, hey, there you are. Put my eye on you. Maybe I don't need you after all.